All right, today I am going to show you how to edit your image to make the mirrored photogram effect. So um, let's see, I'll do it this way. I'm going to go to the folder where I have images. I'm going to select an image and open with Adobe Photoshop CC. While we wait for that, this is the first time I've ever made a tutorial that I've talked you through. So congratulations, Evans, woohoo. All right, so here's my image. The first thing that I need to do is I need to crop the image so that I get all of the outside edges of the computer screen out. So this is the crop tool right here. I'm going to click that. It automatically puts a box around my photo. I am going to go inside of that box and crop the image down by dragging and unclicking. Um, I have a little bit of the edge up here, so I'm just going to nudge this in just a tiny bit. There we go. And then I need to click the check mark at the top, which makes it, um, which sets the um, editing I've done. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to increase the brightness and contrast. Just bump that up a little bit. First, I'm going to do the contrast to make it more like a silhouette. Oh, that's probably good. Um, and then I'm going to give it just a little bit more brightness. Click OK. So that's my color image. So I'm going to file. Save as, um, let's see, I will call this, since I have the whole bottle in here with the ribbon, I'm going to call this ribbon color. Make sure that you change the file extension to JPEG. That saves a lot of space um, in your folder. Okay, so I've saved that version. Now I want to make um, a black and white version. So I go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White. And I'm just going to do the Auto and click OK. If I wanted to, I could beef these up or down um, to make my colors more dramatic or my, my black and whites more dramatic. Um, but I'm just going to rely on Auto. I actually kind of like the way the ribbon looked darker, not that dark. There we go. So now I'm going to save this one file, save as um, I'm going to change this to JPEG because I can't remember what I called the other one. OK, so oh, I called it ribbon. That was it. Ribbon color. So I'm going to change this this time to ribbon BW for black and white. Save it. Okay. So here's my black and white version. I'm going to invert that. Image, adjustments, invert. And it will turn it the opposite values. So I will save that one as well. Save as. Let's see, I called it ribbon EW invert. Change this to JPEG. Save. OK. Now I want to open the color version as well. So let's go back here. Find my color version. Here we go. All right, so now I want to invert this one. So I'm going to go image adjustments, invert, ta-da, file, save as, and I'm going to add invert to the end of that. Okay, so I have just made four different images. Let me find them here. They all should be titled ribbon. So here's my original 
ribbon black and white and then the inversion here's my original ribbon color and the inversion i really like the color of this one because i love how the ribbon um, is the opposite color so i am going to go back to photoshop and i have them both open on here there's the color version oh i don't have them open so i'm going to close that and i need to open the color version of ribbon so i went to file open and ribbon color there we go now i have them both open so i need to make a new canvas that i can put both versions on the way that i do that is i'm going to select all so i get the size of this image um, i'm going to go to edit copy i'm copying this color image then i am going to make a new file so a new canvas it will automatically set the size of the canvas to the image that I just copied, but I want it to be twice as wide as that. So I'm going to double this number. Two, 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 six is what it would double as. Didn't know you were going to have to do math and math in photography class. Hmm, it didn't open. File, new. Two, 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 six, create. There we go. Then I'm going to edit, paste. So now I have my color image in there. I'm going to use the move tool right here. Um, little crosshairs. I'm going to slide that over. Um, when you're moving something, if you can't quite get it lined up right, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge it. Then I'm going to go back to the color invert, select all, edit, copy. So I've just copied that image. I'm going to go to my new canvas, edit, paste. You can use control keys if you want to learn them, but it is a good idea to know where um, things are at on the toolbar. So I'm going to nudge this a little with my move tool. There we go. Now I don't have that really cool thing where the everything lines up. So I need to flip one of them backwards. And I would think I would like it best if my camera is both pointed toward the middle. So over here, um, I'm going to click on the layer that has the color image because that's the one I want to edit. I'm going to go up to edit, down to transform. And then I'm going to go flip horizontal and it flips it just perfectly. Now I want to look really close and make sure that things that are supposed to be lined up look accurate. Um, I'm still on the move tool. I am on um, the original color version. So that's the one that will move if I nudge it, but I think I need to nudge it down. Just one. Yeah, I think just one. Um, I think I'm going to nudge this one too, because I feel like it needs to go over just there. There! Perfect. Look at how cool that is. Look at the shape created here and the way the lines line up, but the shape created here. Awesome. Now, when you save this, it's automatically going to want to default to save it as a Photoshop document. Since this is your final mirrored image, um, I want you to title it with your name. Dash, and then photogram mirror. I already have one saved in there as one, so that's why I titled it too. So you're going to make three of these, just title them the same thing. Put a one after one, two, and then a three. Then you want to change the file extension to JPEG. Save. And you're ready to go. There you have it. You will need to follow these steps 
um, to make all three of your photogram mirrored effects. You can do the color um, version, or if you'd like to, you could do the black and white version. Um, I have no preference, but I wanted to show you both ways. Have a great time.